Okay, Jason Jabba Davis joins us live at the desk with more on this one. G'day Jabba, why do so many child stars fall from grace? Well Matt, I like to think if you took a cross section of any profession there'd be many people that uh, had a tainted kind of story. But I guess with uh, film stars they literally are larger than life. You know, when you go and I've, I've had the, the honour of uh, seeing myself on a big screen a couple of times and it's a real spin out to go into a movie, movie theatre and look up and you're actually, you know, two stories high. Mm. So film stars tend to take on this kind of unreal quality about their own existence, even though they're playing, portraying a character, you can sit there thinking, wow, I'm massive, you know, you can believe your own hype. But then why not the stars of yesteryear, like Shirley Temple, we've seen a lot about her this week, Grace Kelly, why not those people? Well, I think Shirley's a good name hmm. for a start, Shirley's a good, you know, <laughs> as opposed to Lindsay or Drew, Stra you know, <laughs> you, you, I don't know any Shirley's that have gone off, off the tracks. Uh, no, but seriously, she, uh, you know, she had a career as a, as a youngster and as a teenager, and then she retired, she set up her own kind of income streams through merchandising, she turned into the political arena as we saw on the news last night she was one of the first women to uh, talk about uh, breast cancer mm. in a public thing so she had a uh, you know very very different life to most people if we jump forward to Ron Howard who of course many of us know as the star of Happy Days but then also has a, a film directing uh, career under his hat he's someone who spent a lot of time on set over a good many years before he established himself on the Andy Griffith show Andy yeah. Griffith was a mentor mm. uh, he was a particularly good role model to have and I think Ron was interested in a career in the movies beyond just appearing uh, on camera. He said uh, to Vanity Fair a couple of years ago his greatest achievement is being able to work for over 50 years in film and television and have a, a you know healthy family life. He, he has managed to get dorkier as he gets older. It's yeah, kind of he's very <laughs> dorky. That's true. <laughs> that's but kind of I'm, I'm getting though. dorkier as I get older. That's okay. Like that's it. fine. What about Natalie Portman? She kind of stepped away from acting for a little while, but different reasons. What was that? She went to uh, back to school. Actually, she went to university and, and had a psychology degree, I think, and came back in Black Swan. Well, I mean, that was the role where you go. She put the psychology degree to good use. Mm. Uh, she was obviously in the Star, uh, Star Wars movies. Um, I guess it's you know it's a pretty irresistible um, experience to be a film star. I'm certainly not a film star. But to be in the public eye, as you guys would know, certainly has its positive mm. attributes, um, and it, it can be difficult to maintain that you know level level-headed level existence that's required. Christian Bale's another name that comes to mind. You know, Empire of the Son of the Age of Thirteen. Yeah, yeah that's true. Away yes. from the camera and then gets back into it. Small and meltdown. Small yeah, meltdown. Yeah, yeah, the meltdown factor for him is relatively high. I think he's we've got to, took to an AVO against his mum. So, <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> Tom, I don't think he makes gets. the cut. I'm just going to cross him off off my list. <laughs> Isn't it that's interesting right. how how you know? There was no mobile phones around and no internet around when mm. Shirley Temple was was becoming a superstar. Yet now every little mistake that they make is amplified yeah. off mm. the charts. So really, Matt raised a good point. What, did they go off the charts? But no one was there to record it. No one was there to yeah. share it with the world. Well, Hollywood, I think, was also much better at screening the stars from the public eye. It was in their interest to have the actors as a, a separate kind of commodity. Whereas now we, we chew up celebrity stories. We love seeing stories about people falling from grace. So there's an appetite for. It. And it's almost like Hollywood likes that as well because it gives good publicity exactly. to one of the films are coming out as well. Um, Neil Patrick Harris is another one of our favourites. He's still up on the top. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's good. I mean, I find the people that have, uh, you know, that are generally lived a clean life are a bit boring. I think that's why we're more interested in the, one that fall, the ones that fall from grace. I mean, did we really talk about Shirley Temple and Tid until her death? I saw on Twitter someone, a film reviewer saying, I actually thought she died a decade ago. Aww. So, no offence to her, but she has been doing a great deal. Her career yeah. happened, you know, in, in the years up to the age 20 and then she did other things. Neil Patrick Harris, you know, of course, mm. has done a great mm. job with the Emmys. Mm. Um, someone that I am concerned about, uh, Shia LaBeouf from the uh, Transformers movies and Lawless, there he is. He's Stepping on the red carpet to the for his new Lars von Trier movie. Um, I'm fascinated by this, Jabba. I'm yeah. fascinated because I do not understand what is going on. For somebody who keeps wearing a paper bag on the head that says, I'm not famous anymore, yeah. why on earth are you trotting down a red carpet? He's I mean, making a statement, Sally. Yeah. I'm not sure what the statement is. Maybe he thinks he's a Big Mac. Yeah. Um, and statement just, is he forgot his shopping. Yeah. yeah. So he's actually gone one step further with that and he set up a, a performance art space where you can go in and there's a, like a Transformer doll and you speak to someone behind the counter it's quite convoluted Bizarre. but another child star Jerry O'Connell has set up uh, an, an alternative performance space next door saying I'm sorry too oh. Oh, God. so please show our, our love is with you right. <laughs> thanks, Good luck. thanks guys